there's just something about a puzzle that that makes me want to solve it. That calls to me. It's um I don't know, that taunting quality that that really gets to me. Okay, it looks like this is Yeah, this is something I'd need to solve, but this looks to be just literally off. So I'd have to power this one probably. And if I see that cable That goes in here, so I'd need to power that one from in here. So I'd need to walk around to the other side to see about that door there, about entrance. Ah, uh, the torture, the torture. So far though, I think the game has been really fair. It's um it, it presents you with certain puzzles that you have no idea about solving. But if you just spend that little bit of time trying to go to a different area, trying to find a different route, you will usually find the easier puzzle that gently leads up to it. At least that's what I've noticed up until this point. Right now I've sort of been um I don't know, released into the overworld, you could say. And that's where I that's why I'm running into puzzles that I have no idea on how to solve yet. Okay, there we go. So we have some panels over here. Let's let's see about this door. Okay, that's generally an, an activator. But what does this do? <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. See, this is what I mean. This is the perfect, this will explain the puzzle we found in that village. Because this is the first time that we will encounter then this shadow mechanic. That will tell us this, which means that the next one is going to be just a little bit more complex every time. And this will fail because I'm standing in front of this. So this will be the quest that teaches me that my own shadow... No? Ah! I was so convinced. I felt so clever. Ah, see? So that... That's the lesson here. This teaches me that I may need to solve this puzzle before I can see the light on that puzzle to solve it, which is, again, a hint for the next area, uh, the, um, the one in the, um, the village. Come on, get down there. Oh, hello. This powers both this one and that one. Huh. And that one is locked off again. Oh, that's the one I came in. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we can go down into the factory area, but let's um, let's go up here. Oh. So here we have a grate which prevents me from solving this puzzle. Whoa, what's what's going on here? Every now and then, um, all the hairs that Indy leaves behind on the mouse pads will uh, block the lasers of the actual mouse. No kidding. So, can I move these? Or do I just ignore them? Okay, how about we try to just ignore them? See what the, um, see what that does. Ah, oh, Leandre, you're late for something. I'm, I'm sorry that you may not be able to join in then. This is where the concept of shadow blocking puzzles intend to be introduced. Ah, yeah, cool, Griffin. Ah, uh, Clary, thank you very much for logging in. Have a good drive. And, um, yeah, uh, thank you for wishing me good luck. It's ironic and surprising they got the one solution in the town. Um, I don't know, it, it seemed self-evident, to be honest. 
Okay, so this is the one that teaches me that the branches, that later effects are not as important as the natural effects. Good to know. Pass a dragon to you, but you watch from the phone. <laughs> I appreciate that support, Akashi. I appreciate that support. I hope you two have a safe drive, though. There we go. And powers the next connection. Lovely. Now, does this mean... Whoop. That... There we go. This would be the safe route. So the first lesson about shadow puzzles. But that's interesting though. That's uh, that's very interesting, Griffin. It means I can reevaluate what I've done in the uh, village so far. Wait, is this literally? <laughs> yeah, it's as simple as that. Lovely. Leandri, oh, you're just late tuning into the stream. In that case, Leandri, um, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy that you're here and you get to join in. Yeah, I'm... I'm I started a little bit earlier, to be honest. Uh, I just... I was so excited to play this. It's... Uh, Akashi got me hooked. And uh, I completely blame him for turning me into this puzzle addict that I am. Normally I start... Uh, what time is it? Normally I start about an hour from now with Darkest Dungeon. And I still intend to switch over to Darkest Dungeon, because that is what, you know, the regular schedule is. Ah, so here I wonder, is this the lesson that I can also sometimes follow the shadow route? But yeah, so I, I, I just couldn't help myself. It is, good. And and I just wanted to uh, make sure to play uh, something a little bit more. So this is the one that teaches me that it doesn't have to be a perfect fit. As long as it roughly fits. Okay, and that gives me something mysterious. What does that power the last one? There we go, yep. Yeah, it's perfect. And that powers again a mysterious another one. Yeah, the branches couldn't be where they are without lying on top of the metal railings. Yeah, exactly, Griffin. And and as well, how could somebody set this up and then be sure that the branches would stay the same the entire time? That's also what I love. So that's why I enjoy the um, the flexibility of mind that the the game calls for. There we go. That's powered that one. Ah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> you love that one. Nice. You'll have to look into playing this yourself. You've been into it, Leandri. Uh, so far, I can really recommend it. Um, literally, the people who've been here just now have have seen me just. Uh, run through an area like a child getting distracted by everything to the left and to the right just because I was having so much fun looking at this hey wait a minute where am I going wrong here oh haha that's interesting I wonder Yep, that's still... Something to my left. So it isn't about directly about the path, it's about connecting shadows. Something near here? What opened up? Something to my left changed. But yeah, this, this is very much what I enjoy about about this game so far, the, the the gentle tutorials that they give you. Oh. Hey, let's track that. Is that right? This goes there. Um, yeah, this loops up over there to the left. Let's make sure we follow that. So we'll walk around. I'm assuming, hoping that that is what I'm finding. Hello, hello, you weren't open before. So this has taught me again about shadows. The real issue, the Tunstown's puzzle all gonna work because the sun literally never moves, which raises some questions. 
Absolutely, Griffin. And a lot of the imagery as well with the statues, etc. Because the sun doesn't move. He's so surprised it's not even funny. I know, Skipromo. It is mega surprising. <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, in about an hour I'll be returning to the regular scheduling though. Now this is interesting. How can I can I move this? Can I click something? Do I alter this? Ah, let's try and follow this. So yeah, uh, I I am going to be um, of course playing more uh, Darkest Dungeon. Just wanted to uh, play a little bit of this while I'm ahead. Where is this? coming from ah wait a minute that's that bit to the right because I opened up where when was that here I opened up something to the right over here let's follow this route ah, so again this teaches me about difficult ah, witness work with me here difficulties of locking the light so Let's see, I have a limited amount of options. So let's see about... There we go. Yeah, so this at least teaches me that even though it is blocked, I must still follow the direction. The, the only question I have is, isn't it easier for me to be able to move some of this? That is a bit of a downer. So I know that I have to go through here question is that is blocked if I believe if if I see correctly see that this this can't be the case there's only a limited amount of options available to me though but this is uh this one's surprising hmm this one's highly surprising so I can't seem to I can't seem to get a better view. I don't know if I can move these these plates. I can't seem to click anything. And the curious thing is this is the only bit that's lit up. Oh I have this issue. I don't know if anyone knows how to fix this because I only have controls here and there is no option to put this on um, to put this on windowed or borderless window, but every time I sort of click here, I accidentally alter. So I'm not quite sure what the key is there. But okay, this is a bit of a mystery here. We have this block, which you know should basically block me from getting there. And I don't seem to have any way of getting there directly. But there's also no darkness there. Is there anything about the way I'm looking at this? Let's explore the area. There's these potential other, other things which will be unlocking and opening. Okay. There's this cabin, which I assume I'll be getting access to later. Can I push things by walking towards them? Let's check the controls. Just have movement keys? Yeah, I, I literally just have movement keys. And all I have is this select. Hmm. Okay, maybe, just maybe, let's have a look at this. We'll get through this area. We open up another door here with this other quest. Now with this other puzzle, let's see, because this, I believe, leads us to that area that may change something up there. So let's see about that little boathouse area and what we can do here.
there we go these are as you can see completely different caliber um, completely different caliber puzzles already let's see if this works ah, again that clicking away thing see I know that these are the, the white and black ones are separated so that would have worked if these were normal dots so this is right now a puzzle that I don't exactly know to solve yet Oh, Obi-Wan is saying, apparently I can change the resolution, but that means editing part of the config file. Okay, I'm going to alt-tab very quickly here. I uh, hope you don't mind, because I do want to see that. In the meantime, I'm going to sneak a little bit of my bean burrito. So good. So delicious. Hmm. So where exactly would I be finding this, Obi-Wan Benofi? Let me try and track that down. Mm, let me see. Is there anything that I can I can see here? I'm trying to find the um, the Steam app data again. So on our data local variables, okay. Mm. Is that is that in Steam itself? Steam apps, common. The witness. There we go. Data. Mm, local dot variables. Let me just check. Render shades, etc. VSync. I don't see any. I don't see any resolution there, though. That's a pity. Making a giant mess with my burrito right now. Okay, let's just uh, let's just eye back here and see what we can do in the meantime. Uh, you can provide a link if needed. Oh yes, Obi. Thank you. Thank you. Let me click that. Open that up because if we can solve something in the meantime, what do you have here? Um, you're clear, vsync, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Hidden variables. You can add custom profiles, perfect. Okay, specific rendering, etc. AA modes, that's good, that's good. Green width and heights, okay, that's resolution. Mm. Command line arguments. Ah, full screen or windowed or no window border. There we go, there we go. Command line arguments, perfect. I'm gonna get those up the next time I I boot this game. I can I can get that up. That is excellent, Obi Wan. Thank you very much. That means I can start editing this up and fixing this issue. That will be very good for the next stream. I wasn't expecting uh, there to be a boat section. Oh, that is good. That is beautiful. Hopefully it works. I hope so too, Obi-Wan. I hope so too. Okay. Let's see. I've, I've been to... I've seen the mill, I've seen the little village next to it. I've seen the little other area. I, mm. 
Now this is interesting. That symbol in the top left. I found that one. I hadn't solved that yet though. But the weird thing is this allows me, let's check, to travel to basically fast travel. Oh, that is, that is cool. I mean, I know it, this is the problem I have. I, I see loads of things. I should just be playing this and doing this methodically and logically. And every time I see something, I think, ooh, ooh. So much so that, like, I, I just scrolled up a little bit just to check what the, uh, what the chat was. And I suddenly noticed, like, oh, wait, Clary, you know, Clary offered me a compliment. And I completely didn't notice that and silly things like that. That's a thing. Really cool, Griffin. So, uh, so Griffin, did you did you sort of solve the game yet? As in, um, I I go into this game pretty much blind, but I have heard that there is basically sort of a main set of quests that you could finish and then you'd reach an end, and that there's also just more quests. I for the rest I know nothing about it, so I appreciate having things spoiler free. But sort of, have you sort of, are you, are you far in the game? Now that one I found, that that taught me about the uh, the triangle. Oh man, this is amazing. So this, if I recall correctly, I solved completely. Now, here we had a... Oh! Oh! Here we had a bit of a problem, because there was something here that I don't think I could have solved yet. But maybe if I dock there, that will change things. Oh! And that looks like uh, an environment quest, actually. An environment puzzle. You are very deep in, but you believe you're one section away from the ending. Ah, cool. Very cool. Did find sort of a secret ending, but you're kind of elaborate. Thank you very much, Griffin. I appreciate that. Because indeed, you know, the reason why, why you play this game is for the mystery, right? And, and solving the puzzle. This makes me actually kind of think I could go back in there and see if there's any sort of puzzle that I've I've missed. But I, what I really like is the game already works with these sections then. That's what's indicated by the boat. I, I kind of would have wanted um, something of an indicator of this many puzzles out of that many solved or found or whatever. I can understand why they didn't because then you know that there's still something left so you wouldn't be able to find it. Wait a minute. That's an environment thing, isn't it? Discovering so many things. That's also an environment thing. These are everywhere. And that's why this lights up. So... That's not powered. Oh, do I need to do this? Do I need to do them in sequence? Oh, let's try and do that. See, that one I currently cannot do, apparently. So would I need to, to close that? See, this is my problem. I am getting constantly distracted by everything. So... If I understand this correctly, one, two, let's see, this would be a solution. No? Why not? This has two open, that had two open. Wait, let's, let's try that again. No white is in a group with a black. 
all the twos have two openings. Two, one, two. So that means that maybe that is not the method of going around, uh, going about this. What if this is the solution? No, I still, I just still don't know how these work then. So that's something I still need to. So I keep finding new things wherever I go. If you go to the load game stream, tell you how many you solve, not how many you've left. Plus one? Oh, that's a, that must be a secret one then. Yeah, yeah, and Griffin, that, that sort of... It, it tells me how much I've solved, but I kind of also want to know how many did I solve... Is this a back of a puzzle? How many did I, did I solve, um, you know, in, in each area that I know... This really sort of plays to my feeling of, I want to know if I'm done with an area, if I 100 percent at something. Okay, so here's one other thing I'm thinking then. So let's see if I can indeed go up here. Now, I found this environmental puzzle. So if I do this... Something there lit up last time. Oh, oi, oi, oi. Don't do that all tapping on me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it that I cannot go past there because there's a rock? So if I looked at it from that direction, I could do it? Because this is now lit up. So what is there? Ah. Oh, the puzzles, the puzzles. Because if I if I can see this correctly, I move there. Yeah, see this is a bit. So if I can move it here, where would it end up? Here, that makes no sense. But what if visually it would connect to that one? Then it would do something. Hello, what is that? That's the route I just took. These pillars. They're to do with the environmental secrets. If you finish all of these, if you find all of these environmental secrets, something happens. Oh, that is good. That is very good. Okay. You know what then? I, I solved that shadow puzzle here. So... We already learned that solving a, a puzzle where... You could solve a puzzle where you didn't touch the shadows. Now, there doesn't seem to be a route here to reach that without touching a shadow. And there are a number of starting points. Three. And none of these will meet the requirements of not touching a shadow. So how about... I apply that idea that we found earlier of roughly meeting a line. Huh. Now this, this still mystifies me to no end. That leads me back to that one. I also can't solve. Okay, it looks like it looks like the the factory area really should be where where I should be right now. Because right now I'm running into these issues of having specific sort of questions that I just cannot seem to figure out. Uh, let's take a let's take the long road here. 
There we go. And full speed ahead. 